Apple's planned spaceship campus received an all-systems go from the city of Cupertino on Tuesday. The city council voted unanimously to go ahead with the company's new circular headquarters. It's shown here in a video taken by a San Jose Mercury news photographer. The council's approval comes two years after Steve Jobs originally submitted the proposal. And it's clear that we need to build a new campus. But it's been about seven years since Apple made its first move toward making the idea a reality. Back in 2006, the company started buying land where the campus will be located. Still, it will at least be another three years before we see the building. Apple estimates its CEO, Tim Cook, and about 14,000 other employees could move into the new home by 2016. Meaning that facility will hold about five times as many people as Apple's current building at one infinite loop. It's also a whole lot bigger. The spaceship will have 2.8 million square feet of space and measure about a mile around. The entire campus will be 175 acres. Apple currently houses 12,000 employees at various offices around Cupertino. Now that more employees will funnel into one campus each day, the city is worried all of them will be taking a similar route into work, making traffic a headache. But reports say part of Apple's plan is to underwrite projects that will help with congestion, so traffic shouldn't halt the building. At the same time, Apple is also planning to remove a lot of asphalt. It will reportedly replace 80% of the asphalt that's currently there, turning it into open space and parkland. Sounds nice. Apple's proposal will be put to final procedural vote on November 15th. Although nothing is expected to change, a longtime Cupertino resident told the council, As my mom used to say, don't bite the hand that feeds you. If we don't honor Apple with this building, they'll leave. There's no reason for them to stay here and be loyal to a community that doesn't support them. For its part, the company said Cupertino is synonymous with Apple. It is on Apple's product boxes, after all. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.